I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Revelio.
Rebellion. 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 You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Ironically, I didn't see ahead of time how bored I'd be in divination class. <clears throat> Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not be... Rebellion. Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. What do we have here? I hope those assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now. As you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, 
then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now, why not practice? Spell on the training dummy. Descender. Excellent. I think the most. <laughs> Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. Ah, the art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes. Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I'm not sure I really believe that one can see the future. We often do not believe in what we ourselves have not seen. I should hope that you will open your mind. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Descender. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test. Can bring up Outside of the classroom. Akio. Descender. Mine now, Demi guys.
Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind.
Revelio. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those Demiguy statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, wonderful, truly. Uh, if you bring me just a few more, I can teach you how to improve casting Alahamora. I'll keep an eye out for more Demiguy statues and see if I can bring you more moons. You are to be commended for your bravery and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night. Revelio. we 
Revelio. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. That's awful. But no matter the circumstance, he should never have cast it. He should have known better. Trust me, it's not as easy as you might assume, thinking straight when you've been hit with Crucio. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the Scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Revelio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included.
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Nice to see you, my Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. 
Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello again. Brilliant class, wasn't it? I prefer astronomy over portions, don't you? Of course, we Ravenclaws tend to do well in any class. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I. I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. What of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius when my hands are too cold to use a telescope? It's a dog, isn't it? This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Revelio! <sighs> A pristine night for stars. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. Ugh, not how I wanted to spend my evening. Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Almeet thinks he knows everything. Even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. 
I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highlands. Perhaps that's what Professor Shah was talking about. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the table were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The gobstones... Here I am, charging ahead. Revelio. Why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Lumos. Oh, of course. It's just not as... Uh, Revelio. ...as I expected. Lumos. Lumos! Armit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Lumos. Lumos! Revelio! Lumos! Lumos! Revelio! Lumos! More cobwebs! Couldn't we think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. Lumos!
The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Lumos. Revelio. Oh, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. I have learned from Wizard who is being harassed by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Away, Highwing! Away! Fast the Highwing!
Revelio. 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 I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Very concerning. I would not want someone like Harlow looking for me. I can tell you that much. Revelio. I now, Demi guys.
You are here. Good. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Harlow. We need to speak with him. Where are you, Archie? Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father, uh, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. What am I going to do? Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. We will bring Achi home. Revelio. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bickle. He had been doing the same thing we are, providing Officer Singer with evidence to take down Harlow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. Revelio. Descender. Protego. Defalter. Descender. Accio! Confringo! Protego!
What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Halo that we need. We will need something more. Revelio. Accio. Descendo. Potato. Revelio. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Pickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Pickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. There! Archie's footprints! He went this way! Revelio. Descendo. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way.
Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Rebellion. Prepare for a fight. Potato. Descendo. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Capulso. Descendo. I hope Archie didn't cross paths with that wolf pack. We should look around. Revelio. Archie's satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Hollow, distracted. This may be a good time for Revelio again. Revelio! Archie went this way. I have a bad feeling about this. Hollow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. Revelio. in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. <sighs> Revelio. Beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways, but in other ways, it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. Taking in children now, are we? Better not be expected to feed him. It is as I feared. They have to send him. Explosion! No mistakes. Descend off! Bring it! 
Self. Revelio. Could it be a Merlin trial? These rocks have seen better days. Rebellion. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. That complicates things a little. Rebellion. Capulso. Perhaps it's dinner I'm hearing. Rebellion. Is this worth a look? <clears throat> Revelio. i 
Valeo. Rebellion. Revelio. <clears throat> Depulsa. Better have a look then.
Revelio. Revelio. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Not too loud, Archie. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. Sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now let's get you home. We know a safe way back. darling. Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, mother. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. The last thing we need is that monster coming after you. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you, the threat could be a lot worse. Please, please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bickle's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. Rebellion. Here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio.
shield. Stop a moment. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alohomora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. Keep looking for those moons, hmm? You'll save my sanity and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? I'm sorry to say that I haven't found any more of those statues. How oh, unfortunate. I was hoping you would have, and remove those blasted moons. I'll keep an eye out for more demigod statues and see if I can bring you more moons. I commend you for your courage and valor, especially since they can only be collected at night.
Pardon, Sack. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. Revelio. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact... She'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! Confringo! 
glaciers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, Ominous. Confringo! Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family. Repair her. I know. She was my aunt. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. There's no way forward. Like a maze. Couldn't bring up! Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Revelio! The door we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself, but you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Lumos! Confringo! Lumos! To the Ominous, your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did, and she was my favorite person in the world for it. <laughs> Lumos.
Wimbledon and have a go for Max Versailles. Lumos. 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 Another, not the welcome sort, was he? Oh, the dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. And symbols differ for every day. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Confringo. Depulsor. Lumos. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. faster than before. Perhaps check your matching correct symbols. Lumos.
and symbols differ for every dial. The door we came from, it closed. Lumos. There's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Good for them. Lumos. Another, not the welcoming sword, was it? seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. Lumos. 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 Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Oh, that didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Lumos. It seems the dial moves faster than before. Perhaps check your matching correct symbols. That sounded pretty. Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work.
Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. I heard was rewards. Keep going. We've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Excellent work. Lumos. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! <sighs> then Salazar is not yet finished with us. Lumos! Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened to either of you. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Lumos. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. 
and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Lumos. What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast this if I have to. I want to learn the curse, but I won't cast it on you. You need to cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. Excruciating, but I'll survive. Let's keep moving. Revelio, we found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. Oh, I can't believe we. Lumos. Lumos. Sebastian. Ominous. There's a book, just here. You found something. You two go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. Look. 
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. What do you think? Looks like a spellbook of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spellbook? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you? Never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Lumos. Ominous. About your aunt. Please, Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you.
Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi guys.
kill. Let me answer. Arrest on the left. Akio. Arrest on the left.
Champion.
Arrest their momentum. Accio.
现出来。Revelio.
Rebellion. May I ask what led you to accept a position at Hogwarts after your career as an Aura? Perhaps you haven't heard the myriad rumors they think I don't hear. Was it due to an injury suffered during your time with the Ministry? I would still be an Aura today if my injury hadn't precluded it. The Ministry was all too ready to keep me on. Buried under parchment, of course, helping run the Aura recruitment program. But if I'm meant for a life confined to a desk, well, I might as well share my expertise while searching for a way to heal my blasted leg. And the Hogwarts Library is not to be underestimated. You're seeking to heal the damage done to your leg? As I said, lest you think for a moment that fear played any role in my departure, allow me to enlighten you. It was not fear, but fate that steered my hand. I'll not let fear dictate my future either. Well said. However, it's worth noting that fear can be a great motivator and that one must conquer it. Indeed, sir. Thank you for your time. And I do hope you find a cure for your injury. Yes. Well, I'm certain you have an empty cauldron waiting for you somewhere. Yes, Professor. Of course. Professor Sharp, could I ask you about my extra assignments? Professor Weasley's asked that I give you some assignments to hasten your education. Nothing more to it, really. Once they're completed, return to me, and I shall know that you're ready to learn to Findo.
Arresto momentum. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. You should hear Shah talking about the internet. Revelio. Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Alohomora. Revelio.
Expelliarmus! Incendio! Lumos. What do we have here? A demigod. Alohomora. Rebellion. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys.
Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Lumos. Accio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Confringo. Confringo! Revelio! Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere, and Sirona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. 
That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
not here. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. Revelio. Revelio Oh. oh, my dear biscuit. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. A wise decision. Thank you.
hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What will I do without her? Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flogged, skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume. Oh, Biscuit. A mooncalf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus. Or even a goose that lays golden eggs. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnef. How kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnus Mooncalf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Revelio. Chasing butterflies off. Greetings. Please take your time looking about. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Rebellion.
Revelio. Pardon me? Might I ask a favor of you? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Zacharissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that a tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. I suspected that if pure boobatuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few boobatubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tell. Rebellion. Into the Forbidden Forest for boobatubas. I hope it's worth the risk. What do you have in store for me this time? Revelio. Act 
kill. Revelio. Akio. Levioso. Akio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Revelio. Who lived here, I wonder? Revelio. Accio. I'll look after you. Revelio. Everything's all right now. Revelio. Revelio. There's a hole in my Up 
I bet the pulse Yes, I'm very weak. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is sad. No. 
really it is! Oh. Chris, <laughs> You've one less follower, Ranrock. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Revelio. Rebellion. Poachers. God, if was right then, I'd better be careful. Hello. <laughs> You'll need to be quicker than that. Come, bring her! I thought you had me there. Ah, so close. Incendio! Can bring her! Can bring her! Play 
Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Rebellion. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion. Huh. 
Rebellion. Accio. Descender. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Accio. Rebellion. Tell you this. Hogwarts is lucky they've got Revelio. When the clouds are dark. Rebellion. Enjoy stealing hippogriffs, too. Accio. I'm sure you're so hard to kill a moon. Descender. Oh, too hard. Take it. Admirable trick. What have you done? Accio. Let me go. Sometimes it seems all right.
rat biscuit. I shall sort something out. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. I 
Here. Send up. Come Fringo. Come Fringo. Rebellion. I know all about your <laughs> Rebellion. Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion.
Revelio. This is where Sakurissa said to go. Now where are those booba tubers? Revelio. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Rebellio. Good 
Rest easy, my large friend. Revelio. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakarissa now. Rebellion. Sakarissa, I found the boot with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it.
Revelio. Rebellion. Confringo. Revelio. Descendo. Accio. Accio. Revelio. Levioso, Accio, Confringo, Glacius, Revelio. An astronomy table. Should prove useful once the sun's down. Knowing a meat, he's likely studied here. Revelio. Alohomora. Yeah. 
here. Lumos. Akio. Levioso. Rebellio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Confringo! Protego! Confringo! Accio! 
Rebellion. Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Rebellion. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. Revelio.
Revelio. If only Professor Fink could have seen that. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. I haven't a clue. Rebellion. Well done. 
time. Franrock has fooled you all to your demise. Rebellion. Rebellion. Incendio. Accio. Rebellion. 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 Huh? <gasps> 
Revelio. See what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. Here's one of those tables Professor Shah mentioned. Rebellion. Descender. 
Revelio. I'll bury you in the deepest vault. You only have Ranrock to blame. Revelio. Let's have a look, shall we? You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. You won't be disappointed, I can promise you that. So nice of you to stop by. <laughs> 